Broadcasting from the First National Bank Tower, this is KLEKLP Jonesboro. The voice of Arkansas Minority Advocacy Council. Good Wednesday morning, Jonesboro. This is meteorologist Tim Root with your KLEK 102.5 FM weather. A 30-40% coverage of showers and thunderstorms today. There might be a stray severe thunderstorm. Highs near 88. South wind 10 to 20. Partial clearing overnight. Low 70s. Light winds from the south. It looks like a sunny weather pattern near 90 or so Thursday and Friday. Mostly sunny skies. South winds 10 to 15 miles per hour each day. Jonesboro's community radio station, we're KLEK 102.5 FM. From Feature Story News in London, I'm Ollie Barrett. Nike and Adidas are among global footwear companies calling on U.S. President Trump to end the trade war with China. China's three largest airlines say they want compensation from Boeing over the 737 MAX fleet grounded after two fatal crashes. UK Prime Minister Theresa May is under growing pressure to resign and the acting US Defence Secretary says the Trump administration's moves to deter Iran from attacks on Americans and allies are working. Hello my brothers and sisters in Christ, Matthew 6 and 21. For where your treasury is, there your heart will be also. We're not guaranteed anything past this very second, so don't take time for granted. Is your treasure in Jesus? Is Jesus really your all in all? We say this, we sing this, but do we live this? You don't have to answer that question for me. A quick survey of our lives will do that for all of us. You see, your heart lies with the things you treasure. Some people treasure their cars. You can tell by how immaculate they're kept. That doesn't mean that if you like to keep your car clean, there's something wrong with your priority. Only when it becomes an obsession, overtaking all rationale, does it become a problem. Anything or anyone we place before Jesus is a problem. Only Jesus died for our sins. Only Jesus was willing to take off immortality and put on mortality for our benefit. Remember that when you start filling in your daily schedule. Did you leave room for Jesus? If he's something you try to fit in, you may have a problem. Think about it. My prayers for each and every one of you. May God bless you all. Amen. It's 8.02. Here at one 2.5 FM. Good morning to you on your Wednesday. It's May 22nd, 2019. This is your Wednesday morning Bible study. We have Reverend Dr. Greg Ota in the studio. Good morning. With us. Joining us also is Dr. Ray Scales, pastor of New Mount Zion Missionary Baptist Church. And our topic for today is God's faithfulness. Amen. Let's Good go ahead morning. and get right into it. This Good is morning. your Wednesday morning Bible study. Okay, L.E.K. Good on morning, the, my friend. On the 2.5 FM. How are you today? I'm doing well. Good. How about yourself? I'm great. This morning. I see you're still on top of dirt. I'm I, still on top of dirt. Amen. Could you pray for <laughs> us, sir? <laughs> I sure will. Yes, sir. Most gracious in heaven, the Father, we thank you thank for you, this Lord. day. We thank you for keeping your promise to us, always, mm. always pouring your blessings out upon us, mm. guiding us and leading us, Heavenly Father. We thank you for waking us up this morning and knowing that all is well. Father. Yes. We are in your hands. Yes. We thank you for the control and your goodness and your mm. kindness. Bless us. Bless this radio audience this morning, we pray. Amen. Mm. Amen. 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 Thank you, Dr. Scales. You're more than welcome. So this morning, yeah. we're going to talk about God's faithfulness. God is not as faithful as man is, because man is, ha, doesn't have the capacity to be faithful. Once we don't see what we want, we peel off. We'll start doing something else. So this morning, we're going to examine, myself and Dr. Scales, we're going to exa- examine God's faithfulness. I'm going to read. What I lifted up from the dictionary, faithfulness. It says, faithfulness is the concept of unfailing, unfailingly remaining loyal to someone or something. Mm-hmm. This is unfailingly. I'm putting that loyalty into consistent practice, regardless of extenuating circumstances. That means no matter what happens, I stay with this thing I said I'm going to stay with. That's right. No matter what happens, happened, that's right. I stay with it. That's right. That's, that's right. how God is with us. That's right. <laughs> Sometimes we're the ones that walk away. Yeah, God times. hasn't walked away. No, He doesn't. He cannot. He cannot. He cannot. That's I like right. that. That's right, because He is faithful. He is faithful. All the time. All the time. <laughs> I like right. the qualifiers in this thing. <laughs> faithful, all the time, regardless. You know, extenuating circumstances not prevailing. No matter what happens, he's faithful. All the time. 
So what does the Bible say about God's faithfulness? Number one, uh -huh. he keeps his covenant. Help me, Dr. Scales. Oh, my God, I guess I can. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he made a covenant, I believe, with Noah, did he not? Mm -hmm. And he kept that. He, he kept that. He said that it will not be any more rain. He will not destroy the earth again. It Amen. Not, it will not be water, but it will be fire next time. Amen. So yeah. far, so good, huh? So far, so good. Well, <laughs> I would say water I anymore. I trust him, don't Amen. you? <laughs> do Amen. That. In Deuteronomy 7, yes, 9, it, it says, Know therefore that mm -hmm. the Lord thy God, mm -hmm. he is God. The faithful God, <laughs> which keepeth covenant and mercy with them that love him and keep his commandments mm -hmm. to a thousand generations. You know, doctor? Yes, sir. We must be obedient. We must be obedient. We must be obedient because God is going to keep his word. He always has. He always will. Wow. And so it is time for us to stand up and Amen. be faithful to him. Amen. So I, I like the word you use. We must be obedient. Yes. So that means our disobedience does not hurt God, does it? No, it, it hurts us. It hurts us. It hurt us. That's right. That's when exactly I decide right. to do my own thing away from God's word, I'm hurting me, not God. That's right. That's right. Because he's always there. That's right. To always do what there. he said he would do. That's right. When you, I do what he told me to do. But you, you know what I, what I am very, very proud about, uh, thankful for? Amen. Is that he knew that we would fall. He Amen. knew that we was going to fail Amen. from time to time. Amen. And he gave us Jesus Christ. He, he promised to do that too. Amen. And he kept his promise and uh, with us and his covenant with that, us on that. Amen. May I read Psalms 89? Yes, please. And 34? Yes. He said, my covenant... Mm. Will I not break, mm -hmm. nor alter the things that is gone out of my lips? Come on. That reminds me, he says, that my word shall mm. not return. Void. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I didn't ah, say Isaiah it. 55. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yes. So his covenant. Yes, sir. Will he not break? That's right. Will nor not. alter what has come out of his mouth. That's right. That's so right. <laughs> his words has power. Every day. And when he says it, he means what he says. Says that's right. He has no intention of taking it back. <laughs> no taking because it back. the word will do right. what he sent it to do. <laughs> that's right. It will never return void. That's right. It because shows his love for us. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes, sir. <laughs> so Jeremiah one twelve. Mm -hmm. He said, "Then said the Lord unto me, Thou hast well sinned, for I will hasten my word Ooh. to perform it." Come on. Come on, Dr. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's an assurance mm -hmm. to uh to the to the people of Israel. Amen. Uh when Jeremiah was there and he was, you know, he was doing his thing. A, a very, very he was really a boy. Okay. And God was assuring him that you all you gotta do is speak the word. Amen. And I I, I guarantee the I'm word. The one yeah, that's, that's, gonna do <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> I'm gonna perform it. Amen. You know, and, and that's what we need to do too. Amen. Today, is speak God's word. Amen. That's right. Over over all of us. Amen. And all of us will be blessed when we fall in line with his word. Amen. That's right. So his word his word is that powerful. That's right. Is that man? It's like a rock. Okay, <laughs> he, he is a rock, isn't he? It is a rock. He, he, that's right. He is a rock. And his word is like fire. Like fire. It consumes all the nonsense. Yes. Okay. <laughs> but we have to take it in. Yes, we do. That's right. You all know right. what that, that one reminded me of? It threw my mind. To where, where is that word? Is what uh, what said uh, a lamp unto my feet and yep. a light. That's Psalm one one nine. Unto my path. Mm -hmm. So therefore, we are never walking in darkness no. when, we are, when we are obedient and walking with God. Amen. That's right. Ooh. Because His light will shine. Amen. And that takes me to uh, remind me too of where I think maybe Matthew six or something like that. Mm -hmm. Let your light so shine. Right. That's right. So when that light is shining, uh -huh. God is lighting us up in the Amen. path all around. Amen. Then we become a blessing to others. Amen. And that is the main thing that we do as saints of God. We Amen. walk that walk and we talk that talk. We do what we're supposed to do. Oh, you're preaching this morning, Dr. Skip. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Amen. God is good. Amen. He yes, is. He is. Yes, Number right. two, mm -hmm. he does not change. Oh, my God. <laughs> he does not change. That's right. <laughs> so what is he changing for? Well, and why? Why would he change? <laughs> That's He's right. the creator of the heavens <laughs> and earth. Why That's would right. he change? That's exactly right. So <laughs> the, the laws or the commandment he gives us Mm -hmm. Is to lead us to our blessing place. Okay. So okay. when we decide we're not going to follow his direction, we wonder why we're struggling. Okay. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> All right. Now that that throws us all two into what about free will? Okay. Okay. All right. He gave us free will because there's free will in heaven. Aha. Uh -huh. 
Okay, okay. And said and took the wrong turn. <laughs> okay. So when he created man, he had to give man the same free will he gave Satan. Uh -huh. and, and just think uh -huh. how great it is mm -hmm. when our will is in line with God's will. Amen. That, that, that's great then. Man. And we are still free. And you are walking in blessings. That's right. Every day, all e day. Every day. That's right. He, he does not say Malachi 3 6. Could you read that for me? As your will. For mm -hmm. I am the Lord. Mm -hmm. I change not. Mm -hmm. Therefore, the sons of Jacob are not consumed. The sons of Jacob are the sons of disobedience. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Jacob was the disobedient one. I remember that now. He, he was the supplanter. <laughs> yeah. He was the trickster. He sure was, wasn't he? But he was when like he, his uncle, wasn't he? Right. Yeah, that's right. He stole his brother uh, uh, his inheritance. Birthright. Right. Birthright. He, he sure so. did. Yeah. So he was the supplanter. Him and his mother combined. Yep, yep. I was just saying okay. his mother helped him do it, though. But on his way back from labor, he wrestled with the angel of God. He sure did. And the God... The angel changed his name to Israel, which uh, is the okay. son of God. Now, is he the one that is hip or thrown out of place? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, I won't stop until uh, you uh, bless me. I won't me. let you go until you bless me. That is will. Now, be. he had cows. He had wives. He had sons. Yes. But he wasn't truly blessed because he, walk, he wasn't walking in obedience with God. Uh -huh. okay. So he needed the true blessing, which is not material stuff. Okay. Well, you're going to get me to preach this one. <laughs> go so, ahead. So he <laughs> says... I will change your name from Jacob, the to supplanter, to, to Israel, Israel. Uh -huh. the son of God. Uh -huh. okay. So the sons of Jacob are the ones who are still disobedient. Okay. He said, because I changed not. That's why even in your sin, you're not consumed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is absolutely divine this morning. Yes. God, God is always good. Amen. 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 So he doesn't change. Okay. So we're not killed in our little sins. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. He has a net. Even while we were yet sinning, Christ died for us. Right. He has a net. Uh huh. We fall off the skyscraper. We don't bust our head. The net catches uh, okay. us. Okay. That's His love. And that's Jesus Christ, His Son. Amen. <laughs> so that brings us to Hebrews thirteen eight. It says, mm -hmm. "Jesus Christ, the mm -hmm. same yesterday, uh -huh. and today, uh -huh. and forever." So and if it's forever. the same yesterday, but <laughs> and forever, and forever, He cannot change. Amen. What a wonderful God we serve. Amen. So he cannot. <laughs> First Samuel 15, 29 says, And also the strength of Israel will not lie nor repent. Mm -hmm. For he is not a man that he, should, he should repent. repent. Which is the same as Numbers 23, 19. Uh -huh. He's not a man that he should lie. That's okay. So whatever he has said, he says it out of his power. Uh -huh. He's able to do whatever he has said. And he's all powerful. He's all powerful. Almighty. Almighty. And there's another old one there too. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh praise the Lord. So man. number two is he does not change. Number three, okay. he's faithful. He's faithful. Okay. He's faithful. He sure is. He's faithful. Second Timothy 2.13. My time? Yes, sir. If we believe not, yet he abided. I love this one. Yet he abided faithful. Uh -huh. He cannot deny himself. Okay. Why can he not deny himself? Because he is, I'll go ahead. No, no, because he is God. Right. There's no other. He says things according to his power. Uh huh. He doesn't need to change it for anything. Uh huh. He, works he says out of his it power. because he meant to do it. Okay. And he has all the power to do it. Uh -huh. He has the sovereignty to do it. He has no need to change. Why would he? Well, what does he change right, it for? Right. <laughs> He's perfect and upright. So we are his creation. Okay. Why would he change for something he created? Created, that's right. And he created them for his purpose. He sure did. So if his purpose <laughs> is to serve them, <laughs> why would he change? Why would he? All right. And so he's, he's faithful. He's just waiting there just to bless us, isn't he? Amen. And to guide us and lead us. Amen. Because, he just, because we are his creation. Amen. Oh, amen. God, I love the Bible you. says we are the sheep of his pasture. Mm -hmm. He's the one that created us, not we ourselves. Uh, yeah, right. So if I'm a designer. By training. Okay. I'm an industrial designer. Okay. Everything I create is to solve a problem. Okay. So if you misuse what I created to solve that problem, you're trying to solve this other problem, you're frustrated. That's right. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Until you read my instructions and follow what I designed it for, you, you will get you the must. maximum use. That's exactly right. So God is faithful. Okay. All right. Okay. Second Thessalonians 3.3. 3. Is it my time to read again? Now let him read. But okay. the Lord is faithful. He's, he's falling asleep over there. Oh, <laughs> but the Lord is faithful. Uh -huh. Who shall st 
establish you mm -hmm. and keep you from evil. Okay. So the Lord is faithful. Who shall establish you? Mm -hmm. So it is not we that establish ourselves. Mm -hmm. It is the maker that establishes us. Right. And keep us from evil. Uh-huh. It is him. Yes. That we have to be submitted. You know where to take my mind? Go ahead. That when we are in line. Amen. Everything. Lines up. Lines up for us. Mm -hmm. and, and God is going to protect us all the way around because Amen. he's going to keep the evil forces. Amen. The enemy away from us. Amen. And all we got to do is, well, the Lord is my ship. I tell him I Not want. One. That's right. And it's just about a path or something like that. In that yes, <laughs> yeah. And so long we're on it and his rod and his staff, you know, keeping us within that path Amen. of safety. Amen. That's what I really like. Amen. Yes. So number four, finally, it says his promises are guaranteed oh, Lord. by his word. Oh, Lord. <laughs> it's too much here. This is too much. He Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Mm -hmm. Hebrews 11, 11. I'll let you take this one. If I can find it. Through faith mm -hmm. also, Sarah... Received strength to conceive seed, uh -huh. and was delivered of a child when she was past age, because she judged him faithful who had promised. So there is nothing dead in God's hand. Mm -hmm. Nothing is dead in God's hand. Mm -hmm. No matter how bad you have done, He can bring you back. Uh huh. Because life and death is in His hand. That's he right. said, I, I kill and I make a life. I wound <laughs> and I heal. That's, that's Deuteronomy 32, 39. Mm -hmm. So death and life is in his hand. Okay. But then he put it in our tongue. Put it in our tongue. He sure did, didn't he? He said, yes. death and life is in the power of the tongue. Uh -huh. So the things I speak, yeah. the angels around me will carry out. It sure will. Speak life. So he says here, mm -hmm. his promises are guaranteed by his word. Mm -hmm. Okay. If he said, I shall live and not die, if I say that, no matter how sick I am, I'm going to live. You're going to live, that's right. But when I start saying I'm dying, you're going to die. I will die. You're killing yourself. Because his word is guaranteed. Right. I like that. His word is guaranteed. I like that. that. I like that. So like we got to be careful of the things we say. Uh -huh. We say it as if we are God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. If I don't have any money, I'm not broke. No, oh, never. I just don't have it on me. But, right. <laughs> I, never I have a heavenly that. account that yes. I could withdraw but, but, from. That's right. If I have a need, my Lord will give me what I need that's, to solve my problem. At the right time and the right season. But if I start saying I'm broke, uh -huh. they'll leave me alone. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't mean money. Okay. So how am I broke? All right. I can't be broke. Okay. If I don't have the meal to make the money, it has to pass through my hand. So I can't be broke. Oh, you don't hear me this I hear, Oh, I hear you. I hear you. I, I, I'm loving it. I'm taking it all in. Yes, sir. That's right. I am taking it all in. His Amen. word, God is faithful. He is faithful. He will provide. We said that what earlier. He, what he says he will do, he will do. That's right. He's, he says, you he's, read uh, it. he's already done it. He's already done yeah, it. He said, my covenant will I not break. You read it. Yes. No alter what has come out of my, my mouth. mouth. Uh -huh. If I've said it, I will I, do it. I will do it. That's right. And, All right. and he said, his word said it. Yeah. It sure did. Amen. <laughs> the last scripture, as we are running out of time quickly, okay. Isaiah 40, verse 8. Okay. Would you read it for us, sir? Me, I mean, yes, yeah, sir. Sure, sure. The grass withereth, the flower faded. But, <laughs> but the word of our God shall stand forever. 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 Heaven and earth shall pass away. But not one diddle of his word shall pass. That's right. So it will stand when the earth dissolves. That's right. When you and I pass away yep. and be with him in heaven, yep. his word still stands. I know that's right. Hey, man, this I, is exciting. I am looking for that day. <laughs> I, <laughs> am, I, draw, I will enjoy every day he's given me down here. Amen. But oh, when I meet my Lord and Savior Amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. That will be, be glorious joy. Amen. 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 I know somebody's been blessed this morning, but they don't know Christ as their Lord and Savior. Brother Legans, would you lead them? In a sinner's prayer, please. And our, excuse me. And our sinner's prayer is as follows. Lord Jesus, I come to you today as a sinner. Forgive me my sins. Wash me with your blood. Make me a child of God. Hmm. I believe you died for me. Mm -hmm. And on the third day, you rose again. Yes, you did. That I might be justified. Hmm. I believe I'm born again. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Amen. 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 If you prayed that prayer, you're born again. You are a new creature in Christ. All things are passed away. Find the Bible teaching, believing 
You go to Dr. Scales Church. He'll teach you something. I sure will. You come to mine, or you go to any of the churches that are open, that are preaching the gospel. And they'll teach you something. They'll teach you That's something. That's right. We need to walk in our glorious destinies That's that right. God has created us. That's right. So walk. we'll stop struggling with everything. That's right. Walk in the light. Walk in the light. You won't struggle with your neighbor. That's right. Amen. Amen. Do we have any shout-outs this morning? Uh, shout-out to one of our longtime faithful supporters and also sponsor of our afternoon segment of Victory Praise Gospel, Dr. Lowry Beck. Dr. Beck, we need to bring him back on here. So, Dr. Beck, if you're still uh, listening, uh, get with us so we can get you back on here yeah, very soon. Yeah, I need to soon. get him back on here. Amen. Amen. Dr. Scarce, it's been fun having you. Would you come back sometime soon yeah, and do this with me? Call I just have to call, right? Oh, just send me the things I need. And we got one day. more shout out. Amen. That just came in. Cynthia Stott says, wow, what powerful words. God this has you, made my day. Sister. Amen. God bless you. God Amen. bless you. Believe God. Believe God. Do you mind if I pray? Pray. All right. I Father in heaven, we are grateful. So grateful for your word this morning, for your people, for the airwaves, for all those you are, that you're drawing to yourself through this radio station. For, we pray for blessings upon Dr. Scales. Thank you. Pray for blessings upon Kelly K and all that. Listen. Pray for our Father for our new life and family ministries that you have given us. Take all the glory, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thanks for listening. And of course, this, this Bible study has blessed you. Consider sowing a seed mm-hmm. so we can continue to provide this for you. All of the donation information is on our website, klekfm.org. Once again, that's klekfm.org, and it'll let you know all the ways in which you can donate. Don't forget, this is our Gospel Wednesday. We've got gospel music all day long up until 8 o'clock p.m. And Kubila will join us at the top of the hour. She's going to have Fullness of Joy Ministries. They're going to be talking about their summer program. So you guys have a great and blessed day. This is Kate, L-E-K, 2.5 FM. Mm-hmm. This is Dr. Sharice Jones Branch, and this is your Black History Moment. Kathy Williams was born a slave around 1850 in Jackson County, Missouri. In 1861, Union troops impressed Kathy into the Army as a cook and a 